friends, today we're going to be drawing a firefighter. All right, dude, you got your marker? Yeah. All right, we hope you guys are going to follow along with us. If we ever go too fast, what can I do? Pause the video. Yes, you can pause the video. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with our paper vertical, and that's because we're going to be drawing the firefighter standing up. He's going to be shooting uh, the water at a fire. Yeah. We're not going to draw the fire, but we're going to draw the water shooting <laughs> out. <laughs> All right, so let's first start with our firefighter's helmet, and they usually have these really cool hats because they're, they're like hard hats for like construction workers, um, but they're specially designed for firefighters. Good job. So we just drew the, this is the uh, bottom of the hat. And then we're gonna draw a rainbow line that goes up and back down. And I'm gonna end it short. I'm not gonna connect it. There we go. And then we'll connect it down like that. Cool, good job. Okay, now let's put another line right here at the front. Awesome. Now we can put a little shape up here in the middle and that's usually the firefighter's uh, badge. Okay, now let's draw the respirator that, he, that they usually wear so that the smoke doesn't get to them. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes down. And then we're gonna draw, so the back of the helmet, right here where the back of the head is, we're gonna draw another line that comes in and it's gonna come close but not touch. Good job, now we're gonna connect those. All right, and then let's draw, I think it's like kind of like a filter at the, at the end. There we go. Okay, now let's draw the, the uh, goggle part or the window to his eyes. Like that. Good. And then I'm going to put another line here for detail. Another line up here. And then I'm going to draw a little strap that's maybe connected to his helmet. That looks awesome, huh? Yeah. All right, okay, now let's draw the rest of his body. Okay. We're going to draw an upside down U right here, and this is going to be for his shoulder and his arm, top part of his arm. Good. Now I'm going to draw this line coming down a little further so we have room to draw the hose in the arm. I'm going to draw it even further. There we go. Okay, good. Now we're going to put a little wrinkle. This is where his elbow is going to be. Okay, and then a line that comes out. This is for his forearm, this part of his arm. Good. And then we're going to draw the elbow. Comes around. And then we're going to connect it. That's the end of his jacket. Good. Now, they usually have reflective stripes on their uniforms so that they can see each other when it's dark. There we go. Okay, now we got, let's put his glove on the end of his arm. Now we're gonna draw the hose. This is the cool part. So we're gonna draw a line that goes above his arm and it's gonna stop into the upper arm. Then we're gonna imagine it going behind his arm and then it's gonna come out the back like that. Cool, now let's, let's add some thickness to the hose. So let's draw another line and do the exact same thing and draw it coming out the back and then running along with it. Cool, that looks awesome. <laughs> All right, now let's draw the nozzle part to the hose. So we'll connect it and we'll do two lines that come out, they flare out and then we're gonna connect those Okay, and then we can put a little line back here. And then let's draw two lines going into his arm for the handle. Good. Now let's draw another hand. And he's got another hand that's stabilizing it. That's behind it. Good. That looks awesome. All right. We're getting close to being done. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's draw his chest. So there's his chest line. Comes in and it can come behind or underneath. There we go. And then let's draw his collar that's up here on his shoulder. Good. And then let's draw his back coming out like this. And he's going to be leaning forward because there is a lot of pressure coming out of that hose. All right. And then let's draw, let's draw that coming down further for his jacket. 
and then we'll draw the front of his jacket. Good, and then we'll connect the bottom. If we go too fast, you guys at home can pause the video. Yeah. And then catch up. Okay, now let's draw the stripes at the bottom of his jacket. So one, and then I'm gonna draw two more close to each other. So the bottom is gonna be yellow, the middle will be brown, and then this top one will be yellow too. Now let's draw his oxygen tank on his back. So it's gonna be a vitamin shape, or like a pill, pill shape. And we're using overlapping so that the hose it looks like it's in front. That's perfect. And then let's draw some straps that are holding the tank. It's holding yeah. the tank to his back. I'm going to draw another line right here. And this is going to be the strap that's connected to his back. And we can color that black. Should we fill it in? Let's fill it in. Usually firefighters have axes because they need to break down doors if they need to go in and rescue someone. Yeah. So let's draw a rectangle right here. And I'm just drawing it right right oh, below that his been. That's all right. It could be a big axe. <laughs> Good. And then I'm going to put a, a line on the front. And that's the part that's sharpened. Okay? And then we can draw the handle to the axe. Coming out the back. We draw that first so that we can draw the pants behind it. So, and then I'm going to put a little line right here, and that's for the strap that's keeping it to his pants. Okay, now let's draw his legs. And we're going to draw one leg. We'll draw the, the back part of his leg first. And I'm drawing a little bend in it so it looks like he's leaning forward. Uh, that's all right. His knee's going to be really far down there. That's okay. <laughs> I like it. All right. Okay. Now we can draw his the front of his legs. Good. It's a really tall firefighter. Oh, I like him. He's not going to need a ladder to rescue people out of the second story. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. I like it. I know. <laughs> it's good. We're practicing, right? Yeah. Okay, so now let's draw let's draw the line for the front of this back leg. Oh, my knee is a little high. Look at that. I need some practice too. I drew the knee kind of in the wrong spot. I'm going to draw another line down here. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We're practicing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Now let's connect the bottom for that leg. So I'm going to draw his legs a little separated with a line right here. Good. And then we'll connect that one. Awesome. Okay. Let's put the stripes on the bottom of his pants. And I'll put stripes on this leg too. All right, now let's put a couple pockets on the side of his pants so he can put, he can carry more tools with him. And then I'm gonna put a pocket over here on this side of his pants too. I'm gonna put some more details. I'm gonna do a line that goes down the side of his pants and then a pocket up here. I'm gonna actually do another line across the top for his waist. Good. He's missing some boots. Yeah. Let's give him some boots. So let's draw his foot in there first on both sides. Okay, now I'm going to draw the bottom of his boot to make it thicker and look like he has uh, firefighting boots. Really thick boots. All right, Kate, okay, now we're missing the water. It doesn't look like he's spraying any water. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw a line that comes out and this is gonna be huge. I like that. Good job, man, he turned out awesome. Now we're gonna color him. So we need to pick okay. out the colors and we'll come right back. We're gonna use oil pastels to color him and we're using Pentel brand, but any brand will work. We're gonna use light brown, red, blue, light blue, yellow, a gray and a black. Should we fast forward? Yeah. All right, let's do it right, right now. now.
Good job, man. Give me five. Did you have fun? Yeah! You promise? Yeah! <laughs> you guys at home can pause the video right now and then match the colors that we did on our firefighters. But the background's white, and after this video, you guys should draw the background. Don't leave it white. You, should, you could draw a fire, you could draw a building burning in the background that the firefighter's trying to put out. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your firefighters with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.